All right, the next video in my flimsy video setup series here is about coloring books. I get this question a lot. People ask what I color in, where I get them from, what my inspiration is, so I thought I'd walk you through that. And hopefully this video is more in focus than the last one. <laughs> so I got started actually printing off pictures from the web and using markers to create colorful stuff like this or like this and that was a lot of fun and then I was scrolling through Pinterest and I saw this picture and I'm gonna raise this up so that you can see it a little bit better so that you can see the shading of it this is done by a colorist named Morena Vajak she's in Croatia and when I saw this and I saw the shading I just knew that this is really what I wanted to do. So I found out that this is from the book Secret Garden by Johanna Bassford. And this is debatable, I guess, but Johanna has been really credited with really kicking off the adult coloring craze, or if, if not kicking it off, just really making it popular. So I've got all of her books. I'll show you some of the other ones in, in just a minute, but Johanna's from Scotland and she does beautiful work. So this was my first book. It's got this removable jacket that I usually discard and set aside. But this picture right here is the one that I saw that Morena had done. And in my mind, I still can't do this picture the same justice that Morena did, so I haven't done it yet. Uh, we'll get there. So I wanted to show you that my very first picture was this one. I decided when doing the coloring books, I wanted to switch over to the colors so that I could get the shading and stuff done. So I bought a pack of 48 pencils and I used that in this book for about six months before I got anything else. So you can see that this really isn't all that good. Hopefully you can tell that over the, the months and the years, I've improved quite a bit from where I started, but we've all got to start somewhere, right? So uh, here's just a few pictures that I've done in, in this book. Um, some of her other books, let me just pull the, pull the stack here. So this is the next book that I got, Enchanted Forest. And, um, you know, like, here you go. So I, you know, I have improved a bit over the years, if I can brag about that for a little bit. Um, nice, colorful pictures here. So these are really great. They're really popular. Uh, there was Secret Garden, there's Enchanted Forest, A Lost Ocean, Magical Jungle. And then she did a storybook for her daughter called Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. She would tell her daughter this story when she was little and she decided to put it into a coloring book and they go on this inky adventure and you can color this. So she's got some really pretty pictures in here. So that's Johanna Bassford, where it all started for me. And another author, illustrator that I like a great deal is Kirby Rosanes. He is in the Philippines and he does all of these Morphia books. So his book, his first book, which I don't have, is Anamorphia. The first book of his that I bought is Imagimorphia. And I bought this when I was in Italy. So it's in Italian, which I think is pretty cool. And I've done a few pages in here, you know, just they're fun where an animal morphs into other project, uh, uh, other objects. He says that he just loves doodling. So he's got some books about doodling. And so that's basically what you see here is just a bunch of doodles. But these are, are really cool. Um, another of his books is Mythomorphia. So this is all mythical creatures that are really quite awesome, all of his technique here. And I just got this book, Phantomorphia, which is a little darker subject, I guess, but this looks really cool and I'm looking forward to starting some of these pictures. 
So some of my guy friends have asked me about books that I could recommend for them so that it's not all flowers and leaves and bunny rabbits. Uh, Kirby Rosane's books I, I would highly recommend. Another author you guys might also appreciate is uh, Nicholas Chandranada. He also goes by his middle name, Nicholas Spielbert, because his last name is a bit of a mouthful. He's from Jakarta, Indonesia, so you'll see a lot of that influence in his pictures here. And I just think that this is such a cool book and lots of different subjects in here. I've done three in here, and I'm going to take the time to find these pages because I think that I've done some of my best work in this book. So this, this one you guys saw me post and you guys were very nice with your comments on that one. And there's a couple more in here. This one. And I have a Viking, here we go. This page. So this background, so he, the, the Viking himself is done in pencils. The background I actually did in chalks. And then I got a white paint pen and put in the lightning. So there's there's different mediums that you can use to work on your picture. So here's here's another good book. Another author, I don't have any of his books, but you know, guys, if if you're interested, Bennett Klein does sketchbook series, and those have a variety of, of topics. And what's cool about the sketchbook books is that they're, that they're done in grayscale. So it already helps you with how to shade your picture. So those are pretty cool. Okay, Romantic Country. Um, Erie is the illustrator. I hope I'm saying that name right. And I think she's a she from Japan. She has this trilogy. I, you know, I pulled the cover off of the other two. Where she takes you through her fictional land of Kokot. And so you can see here, she's got a map of the whole land, and then here is the north, and here is the south. And all three of her books just take you through different places throughout the land. You know, so chapter two in this book is about castles and just going through the different villages or the different markets or the different fairs. And so these are a lot of fun. Now, what particularly is amazing to me about these books is that the illustrator uses toothpicks to do her drawings. So right here at the front of the book, they talk about how with the toothpicks, rather than just using a pen, you can vary your degrees of thickness and your lines and just get a little bit better um, you know, I guess flexibility in, in what you want to do with your pictures. So even down here, you can see that these are pretty thick and these are pretty thin. For this book alone, she used 700 toothpicks and she's got a, a trilogy here. So these, these are a lot of fun. I'll show you uh, in the second book, she's got this land of, you know, kind of magic and witches. And so here's a witch's village and, uh, oops, I guess I had that off screen. There we go, that page and that page. So pretty pretty fun stuff there. Okay, um, Clara Markova is another illustrator that I like. I just got her books, so I haven't done too much in these yet. Clara is from the Czech Republic and she also self-publishes her books. So I was able to get this one on Amazon, which was pretty lucky. Um, this was her first book. I, I got this one first. This was her first book, and I had to get it on Etsy, and it hasn't been translated. So this, this is in its original format, and that means Magical Delights. So she's just got these really cute um, kind of elfy looking... There's my little, I call her my turnip mama with her little babies. That was a fun picture. Um, you know, she's just got these really cute with the bugs and the critters and the elves and, you know, little fairy people. Um, so I did that page and 
there's another one with a pretty lotus flower that I did for you lotus folks out there. A little dragonfly. And I did a picture up front with the background I used watercolor pencils to get a little bit different effect. So that's Clara Markova. These books, uh, Maria Troll, Trolley, I apologize that I don't know how to say your name, but you've got amazing books. Maria is from Sweden, and I haven't done anything in Nightfall. I just got this book, but Twilight Garden, I've done a couple of pages. These are a lot of fun. Again, you know, I just like these books with lots of little critters and flowers and scenery. And let me see. Like this one I had a lot of fun with, the little hedgehog. And so there's Maria Trolley. I think she's got one other book out that I do not have, but those are fun. And then from my previous video, you saw that one of my favorite people that I, I love her books is Hannah Carlson. So you saw a little bit of what I did with the Daydreams book with the peacock, but you can just tell by the front of her books, here's three more of them, that you know she just has the same style throughout. So reading her biography online she says that she really likes magical things and jewelry and gems and critters and nature and strong women so you will see that theme played out here you know so here's a i've seen this done beautifully uh this this page here there's some magical stuff and nice critters and gems and jewels and bugs and Fun stuff here. So I've got, like I said, I've got four of hers. Another book I wanted to share. I haven't done anything in this one yet. Uh, I just got it. So Annie Stegg Gerard from Pretty Shirts, Georgia. She had a Kickstarter program to help her publish this, which is her first book. And I wanna do this so that you can see that it's quite a bit smaller than, you know, this is considered a standard sized coloring book. Um, so it's quite a bit smaller. But if you joined her Kickstarter program, so I think I paid $20 to help her out and she sent me a book that's autographed, which is really nice. And it also included a couple of prints of her work that are also autographed. So that's nice, these are really pretty. And the book just has some really gorgeous pictures, very intricate details. So um, these are gonna be ones that, you know, I'm gonna have to do some planning out of how to how to get these colored, um, especially because there's so many tiny little bits in there. So, but these are these are just really, really pretty. It's amazing her talent for these pictures. So that's really cool. So with that, that's what I have for, uh, I've got one more book up here that I wanted to show you. So when, when I travel now, I do look for coloring books. So uh, I haven't really done anything in this one. It's just got a variety of different kinds of pictures in it that look fun that I'll get to at some point. But I picked this one up when I was in Colombia. So I kind of like them when they're not translated so that I've got those. So that's it for books. And I'm going to do another video to talk a little bit more about pencils and the other tools that I use. Bye.